All right, so earlier this week, we talked about the importance of form when it comes to building your biceps using only dumbbells. And today, we're doing the same thing, but we're talking chest. How do you get the big chest that you want using only dumbbells? Well, think about it. You can do all the same exercises, well, almost all the same, with some dumbbells. So let's jump in. I'm gonna walk you through what I do, what you should be doing, what you should be focusing on on your chest exercises, whether you're using dumbbells like we're gonna to use today or whether you're using standard equipment in the gym. Let's take a look. Even though I'm on the floor, the same rules apply if I'm on a bench. When you're doing a bench press, you wanna plant the feet firmly. You get so much strength by pushing through the ground. Now granted, the dynamic's gonna be a little bit different laying on the ground than laying on a bench. If you've got a bench, awesome, use it. If not, the ground works just fine. Don't be afraid to get down and dirty. Yeah, I've got sweat stains and all other kind of stains on this thing, but you know what? It doesn't matter. All right, so starting off, get your dumbbells up. Now, when you go up, you don't want to lock the elbows out, but you want full extension. And again, we're focusing on the eccentric phase here. We want to come nice and slow back down. Now, the one good thing about lying on the floor and doing this, there's no chance of me going too far back and possibly injuring the shoulder. So you're going to go slow up, slow down. When you do this, when you go nice and slow, again, think about the chest muscle. Think about the pecs. How are they working? How do they feel? Make that mind-muscle connection because it makes a difference. All right, next up is the dumbbell fly. I'm gonna be basically seated in the same position, laying on the floor. Grab the dumbbells. I'm gonna bring them wide. Again, I minimize any risk of my shoulders going too far back because I'm on the floor. Shoulders can't go any further back. Then come up. And at the top, I'm squeezing the pecs together. Down slow, back up. Remember, engage those muscle fibers make that mind muscle connection it matters nice and slow don't rush through this don't be sitting here doing oh uh, uh, like screw that crap go slow slow on the eccentric and back up the biggest thing with this don't rush it i said it earlier this week like take your time with it go slow think about the muscle make the mind muscle connection focus on the eccentric the time under tension so crucial to your actual gains because when you do this after doing it for some time you're gonna notice a difference you are you're gonna notice a huge difference all right let's jump into another exercise i like so this is just a single dumbbell chest press out basically gonna sit square on my chest then i'm gonna come up and when i'm at the top again i'm squeezing those chest muscles nice and slow down back up. You can also change your grip. If you feel like you're not getting enough extension up and down, you can change your grip to this if it's easier for you. Nice and slow down. Don't let it just drop. Gravity can do that. We're resistant gravity. Nice and slow down. All right, now here's where a bench really comes in handy. If you can do an incline press, but if you don't have a bench, Grab some pillows, put it under your back, some blankets so that your upper body is raised a little bit and perform the chest press because it's going to hit those muscles slightly different. So you're going to work out the upper portion of the chest muscle. All right. So the key takeaway here is no matter what exercise you're doing, no matter whether you're using dumbbells, no matter whether you're using a cable machine, whatever you're using, go slow. Stop rushing through stuff. You have time. Like if an exercise takes you 10, 15 minutes to get through because you're going so slow in the eccentric, so what? Don't think about it in terms of, we get so caught up in the mindset of, well, I did 10 exercises today in the gym. I did 12 exercises in the gym today. Yeah, but you're probably flying through them. Slow down, more is not necessarily better in the terms of more sets, more whatever, but like really focusing again on the time under tension. If you do 10 sets, but your sets last 10 seconds, it's really not straining the muscle enough like it should. No, what I would rather see is each set lasting a minute and you're only doing three because that's gonna be more beneficial in the long run. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If so, 
please subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you found it helpful, share this with a friend. Just hit that little share button, send it out to them. I'd be greatly appreciative of that. All right, remember, you've got this.